right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let's get right into it, man. Look, I know y'all came here, man, because y'all trying to master what I have mastered, man. Y'all seen me out there. Hey, guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great content from my daddy. Shooting lights out also, man, and I can help y'all with that, man. Uh, rhythm shooting is really the wave. Now, I can button shoot, too. Like, it's, it's no big deal, but I just feel like I got so much more control over my shot when I'm rhythm shooting, man. It's not even funny. And I'm going to show you how to rhythm shoot just like I do. I'm probably going to miss that one. But it is what it is. I don't even hit that, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know what we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all, man. Check it out, man. Look, I need y'all boys to just kill the like button on this video, man. We, You know what I'm saying? Like, we we need the, we need the views. We need the motivation. We need all this stuff, man. I need y'all to just, just completely... Do your thing on that, man. And while we're doing that, I'm going to give y'all, like I said, I got five tips that's going to help y'all rhythm shoot much better. Number one, this is probably the most important thing you can do. Control the set. Now, I, I, um, I, I got my shot meter. This is what you want. You got to turn this shot meter off, man. So pro stick, pro stick on. First thing you're going to do, turn that off. Then stick function. You can leave it on default. A lot of times, a lot of people feel like this helps you get the shots off faster and preload the stick like you can be holding the stick while the ball is in the air. Put it on, take it off default, put it on shots only. If you're doing this, you're unless you are a dribbler, you can do it with this. I leave it on default, but for a lot of people, putting it on shots only helps because you know that the only thing he can do is shoot the basketball with the when you when you're holding the shot stick if you're a point guard or something like that if you're a co fellow corner boy obviously that's fine but if you're somebody who's a point guard or what have you a lot of y'all don't do that but left stick anyway man so i don't see why it'd be a big deal but you know hey do this first that's number one number two come over here to to your animations my player animations you have to go to your hood all right you're gonna go to your shot hood and then you're gonna say uh where's my shot meter at man shot meter shot meter shots visibility you must turn it off for shots all right you can leave it on for layups you leave it on for everything else blah 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 yakety schmackety the reason that you want to do that is is um let's say it's to the side so you have about the head or below the feet well when you put the shot meter below below the feet man I got the shot meter off, but you know, I just want to see what happened when you put it below the feet. Ah, oh, okay. And then you got the one above the head. Okay, that's dope. I, I never, I never used that one like that, man. I guess the one, the one under your feet, I mean, it, it is what it is, man. We're going to leave it to the side. I turn mine off anyway. I turn it off so I can get the extra boost with this. But like sometimes, if you don't do it like this, you won't get the, um, you will not get the, the, uh, the shot, the, the meter will be on more or less it's the only thing i can say the meter will be on when you're taking shots so that's the first thing you want to do get this set up right here uh put it on put your shot stick on your right stick on shots only and then you come back and you're going to put your uh you know turn that off turn your meter off do all that stuff those are the first things that you want to do and what that's going to do is make it so that you can shoot this shoot the basketball with maximum efficiency as soon as you as soon as the ball comes the right stick can't do nothing but shoot the ball that's all it can do so you can be holding it you can hold it while you know it doesn't matter what you do you can you, you do all this stuff right here i think i left mine on though so it, it is what it is but for you guys if you don't want to be able to do dribble moves and stuff with the stick and you all you want is to be able to shoot i ain't shoot that with rhythm um all you want to be able to do is shoot with it. That's the first thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do, you have, have to, have to, you absolutely have to find a jump shot that corresponds with the, uh, with shot, with rhythm shooting. If you don't do that, I promise you, you're going to have a very hard time with rhythm shooting. And like, this is my jump shot right here. And I'm going to show y'all right here. My jump shot speed is an A. With A pluses, it is extremely difficult with an A plus 
to shoot the basketball on this game with rhythm shooting. Now you can have some better grades some different grades and stuff like that. Um, like with this one, it didn't matter what I was doing. I couldn't get any more time and stability. So my time and stability was pretty much locked. So that's the only thing I was really worried about. My time and stability is a B is fine. But this shot could go up to an A plus. At an A plus, it's hard to catch it. And the reason revert without doing anything. Um, the reason that it's hard to catch it with an A plus is because he'll bring it up fast and you're going to try to flick the stick to pause, pause. You're going to try to flick the right analog up because of what you have to do when you shoot it, right? When he gets to the set point, you have to flick the right analog up at the speed of his, of the flick of the wrist. But what will end up happening is if you have too fast of a jump shot, he's going to flick his wrist. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be trying to catch the jump shot and you're gonna flick up on the right analog too fast. So maybe that's why a lot of people don't like it because because they feel like they can't catch it and you'll be trying to catch you you'll end what what will end up happening is you'll be, you'll end up trying to catch the jump shot and by trying to catch the jump shot you're going to flick the right analog up too too quickly and it's gonna give you a bunch of slightly fast. So so it'll be like this right here, like uh like like that. If I I'm trying to do it too fast. So that, uh, and see and see what it'll do there we go so you get a bunch of slightly fast with this one i have this jump shot to the rhythm that i like so if you like to flip if you want to flick it up quickly and you you feel like you can catch it yeah you can you can you can gradually go up toward the a plus but i wouldn't do it just because you're an off ball player and to be honest with you man once you go up with your upward motion if the guy isn't there sometimes even if he is there it's not gonna matter you just you as long as you can time your shot and you can match that rhythm, you're gonna be completely fine, man. That's that's it, and that's the that's the another thing. The other thing that we want to tell you with this is you're going to have to practice. It's not something that's gonna be a placebo effect or not a placebo effect. It's not something that's gonna be instant. You're not going to be instantly good at. It. I say get in here, and this this should go without saying. Get in here and practice until you know to the only thing that you're missing is is maybe push timing like tempo you should you should get to the point where you're never missing tempo because you should just you should be able to look at the jump shot see see what's happening and you should automatically know what tempo to use uh you know what range from what range so like even from here i'm 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 getting comfortable with learning the tempo at the different ranges but um it's just one of those things where you're going to have to you have to learn it because because different depths is different for each shot so back here it's going to be slower even though that one was faster right but back here it's normally a little slower uh this, see you see how i keep going slightly early so that's that's how i know back here it's a little bit slower than it is up there so you have to learn your depths learn your depths your ranges and all of this stuff man but the depth might change but your tempo won't so get to the point where the only thing that you're ever missing is your is your um is perhaps your push because the tempo is not going to be the same all the time but that is far easier to match and then once you get to that point where you can match your tempo very nearly every time i promise you you're going you're going to to love it man i got these notes i got these notes right here man so you got your shot build your shot for rhythm shooting i told you everything to turn turn off uh practice 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 turn off them dribbles we got the setup right so we did uh yeah turn off your dribbles moves with the right stick i gave y'all the setup i told you you gotta practice 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 you have to build a jump shot based on the thing and like i said i got all of my jump shots are based on rhythm shooting and all of that so um so y'all should be good with that and the last and final thing is bro pay attention to your cue but with rhythm shooting you're going to have to pay attention to your cue through the entire jump shot like when you're playing this game you should not be concentrating on anything else but your player look at your player concentrate on his movements try to match you you pretty much are trying to match his movements and the flick of the wrist with the stick. Do not pay attention to the player bearing down on you. 
like you gonna you gonna see a couple of you gonna see a couple of shots right here it's players players will be bearing down on you they're gonna be running at you don't pay attention to that once you have committed to, to shooting the basketball pay attention to nothing else other than your rhythm because you i promise you like you can see in these shots you can hit the shots it looks like guys are there it's going to look like people are there they're not there and at first what's going to happen is you are going to be paying attention to those guys that are running at you and you're going to flick the stick up too quickly and once you get used to it and you know what your rhythm is you know the rhythm you know the shot you'll just be paying attention to, to nothing but your hands and when that happens the people that's running at you bearing down on you it, they're not even gonna matter man so like i said these are five tips that should help you guys out if you've been having issues with rhythm shooting and you really want to get better at it that's what these are the five things you're gonna have to do do the setup turn your meter off do all of that good stuff turn the dribble moves off on the right stick until you get used to it just turn the dribble moves off on the right stick until you get used to it turn your meter off turn the rhythm turn that off practice 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 get that shot get the timing ingrained in your head to the point where the only thing you're ever missing you you should never be missing tempo anymore the only thing that you want to be missing ever is just your timing get a jump shot that fits that and then last but not least just lock in on that cue lock in on your players full body motion when he's shooting and i promise you you're gonna be a better shooter people are gonna be like dang man i might need to try this rhythm shooting thing man because it's going to make you that much better i changed up yesterday bro was like jay why you even change up man you don't miss so like why would you even do that i was trying to make the shot better but a lot of times you're gonna get to the point where you're so much better there's no point in getting better, man. But anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Hopefully, this helped y'all out. If y'all have any specific questions about rhythm shooting, let me know. And I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Channel. Guys, please.